Hey guys, um, this is Toby from 46RC. Going to give you guys a few uh, few tips um, on my technique that I use to break in the uh, AKA Ultrasoft slick tires for use on our uh, pretty unique dirt surface. So here I have um, a brand new Ultrasoft. Um, rear tire mounted on a Evo rim um, and as you can see it's got that you know it's got that little center line here and the, the shiny and new on the back here I've got a couple of um, um, pretty broken in pretty heavily raced tires you can see they're pretty stretchy starting to get a little soft uh, I've got a couple of different um, tires two different generations one you can kind of see the difference. This one's a lot more worn. Um, people talk about um, slicks being, you know, a bad choice for uh, uh, tires because um, you know it's hurting hobby stores. But really, uh, the slick tires don't last that long, to be honest. Um, if you're racing, especially if you're racing mod, uh, they they wear, they they stretch, and they get saggy. And after a while, they they really become pretty unruly to drive and um, just you know get um, pretty unpredictable on the track so you really have to keep ahead of the game and have a set you're breaking in ahead of the set you're actually running and then maybe even a third set that you're just kind of breaking in um, you know to start with so like two or three sets on hand so you can see you know this one's my kind of tired I'm about ready to throw away this one's a little tighter still got some good days on it yet uh, I don't think I broke I think I broke this in a few weeks ago and I've had like three race nights on it so um, you know like I said these tires don't last that long really um, so you do have to keep buying new tires uh, from your local hobby store and um, and uh, yeah so let's let's talk a bit about breaking these in um, so a lot of us ran the Prime tires from Proline for the longest time until these tires came out, um, and uh, I think they're on par with Proline's M4 compound at least for our surface. We've tried smoothies and not really got those to work. Some people have. Um, it's really all about the braking, I believe, and and what tire compound you use for these. Um, what I do is. Um, uh, a pretty easy process. Uh, I use a AKA braking tool. Um, pretty simple. Just put it in your drill and um, spin it up. Um, then I use some sandpaper. I normally have the black stuff, but my son keeps stealing all my sandpaper. So all I've got is this is this pretty lame wood sandpaper, which I'm going to use to break these tires in. Uh, the black covered. Um, Sandpaper tends to be a bit more durable. Um, it's normally wet and dry as well. You can actually, you know, use it on other different projects. So I'm going to spin that up on a drill. I'm going to break them in, and what I'm going to do is just scuff this up. I'm going to lose this whole center rim here and take that shine away. And once I've kind of gotten to that stage, and the tire is ready to um, to kind of move on to the next stage, um, the what I do after that is I will soak it um, with liquid wrench that's right I actually put this liquid wrench in a S6T bottle because I like the applicator so I'll smear that all over the tire and then I'll put it in a bag and leave it overnight um, and then I'll do it a second time and, and after that second overnight soak it's basically ready to use on the track um, take to the track uh, SXT is the compound that I primarily use. You can use Sticky Kicks, works pretty well there. The orange compound is the new and most current and stickiest of the various Sticky Kicks compounds. Uh, FTM Blast works well too if you can if you can get it. Um, so uh, next part of this uh, little video, I'm going to break these tires in um, quickly. Use a summarized process so you can see how I do it. All right, there we go. Alright, so uh, I got my tire mounted on my drill here, got it turned up to the fastest setting, um, and I'm going to start um, grinding these down and, and getting that shine and that middle spray off of the tire. Alright, 
so uh, got my tire pretty much scuffed in here so you got a little hot around the edges here you want to kind of keep the, the, the tape the the, uh, the sandpaper moving because um, it can get kind of hot and then the rubber kind of can kind of bunch up a little bit around the edges but that's okay that will just smooth out after a run or two so you can compare the broken entire versus the not broken entire or at least at least um, prepared tire I would say so what I'll do is, is next is um, I'm going to cover the tire in a um, liquid wrench and, and bag it up and uh, leave it overnight. Alright, so I got my uh, liquid wrench here. I'm just going to... Oops, things coming out from the thing. I'm just going to cover my tire in uh, the liquid wrench. Give it a nice good soaking. Alright. And then basically, I'm going to drop that in this bag. It's a great way to reuse your, um, your 8 scale tire bags or any, any bag you have. Drop that in there. Let that soak. I don't know how to do something with both tires. And seal that up and, and let it sit. And then basically repeat the process um, the next day. Uh, again, just apply the liquid wrench around the whole tire. Put it in a bag and... Um, on the third day it's ready to take to the track so that's really my process that I use um, I had a decent success with it um, run it in two wheel drive, four wheel drive um, mod and stock um, we've got the uh, ultra soft tyres now for you know, all three um, sets of wheels and, and the wheels all in stock over at the hobby store at Critter Hobbies which is um, uh, next to uh, 46RC. Alright, that's it. Uh, any questions, uh, hit me up or see one of us uh, at the track. Cheers.